Hello, hello, hello. How are you doing today? If you're here, say hi. And I hope my pug will stop barking at some point. So today I want to quickly talk about how to transition your skincare routine into winter. I was looking in the mirror at myself yesterday and my skin just looks so different. It looked drier, it looked like, you know, yuck. Uh, so I realized I actually don't have in stock at home any good moisturizers for winter right now. So probably will have to purchase one soon. Uh, so I figured I'll share some tips with you how to transition into winter. And first, let's start by answering the question, why do you even need a different winter routine than summer? So in winter, if you live in a cold climate like I do, I live in Northeast um, in America and it gets really cold. And in winter, the humidity is much lower. And what that does to your skin is that your skin cannot produce its natural humectants called natural moisturizing factor. So your skin cannot produce molecules, it needs to hydrate itself very easily. Uh, also, our oil production goes down in winter, uh, so that leaves your skin a little bit less protected. So that's where all the dryness comes in. And then together with the heat inside the house, we can feel really dry. So the first uh, tip I can give you is if your skin gets really dry in winter, invest in a humidifier because that will really help you. And a lot of people think that, you know, you just have to drink plenty of water and you're going to be fine. But when you drink water, it doesn't go directly in your skin. So there is much better methods to hydrate your skin in winter. And I'm going to be sharing all of the methods with you today. Uh, so the first tip that is to really pay attention on how you cleanse in your skin. If you like washing your skin in the shower, make sure you lower the water temperature down uh, when you're washing your face. And it's not recommended to take really long showers or long bath because that strips your skin of its natural oils. And what I like doing in winter, because I, I like a nice hot bath, so instead of using like bath salt, um, that can be fragrant and, you know, even dry out your skin even more. I like using a vino bath. So this one's amazing. So it says it's soothing uh, bath for itchy skin, but it's not just for itchy skin and eczema. It's actually, you can use it anytime you take a bath. And what colloidal oatmeal does for your skin, it really repairs, it really hydrates. So it really strengthens your skin barrier. And I will show you my favorite body lotion. Just as you do on your face, you want to put body lotion um, afterwards on your body. So I do like this necessary um, body lotion. It's fragrance free and it's good even for sensitive skin. And right now it's my favorite out of any ones that I tried. Uh, so for your face, um, I will give you also some recommendations that you could try. Again, you can, you don't have to um, buy these products. I'm not selling any products on this live. I'm just giving you examples and then based on what you know about your skin, what's working for you on what you know about your skin type, you can then see if maybe you want to buy these products or if you want to get something similar. So my all time favorite is fresh soy face cleanser. It's mentioned in a lot of my videos and um, I love everything about it. My skin loves it. It smells amazing. So that's my favorite one. Um, I'm also been trying the Biosuns. They have the new Elo Amino Acid Cleanser. Actually forgot to bring it here. So that's the one I'm using right now. And if you're on the dry side or uh, I mean, you can even oil, if you oil and dry in winter, you can use Skin Fix. Uh, super, super nice. This one is more emollient, so it's a little bit thicker, but what I like about it, it removes all the makeup and like you feel like, you know, it almost like repairs your skin barrier as you wash your skin too. So I do love that one. Um, the next tip is to add a lot of hydration to your skin in winter. And it doesn't only come from a moisturizer. Uh, you should layer hydration. If you feel dry in winter, that's the best thing you can do. So examples are, there's Glow Recipe, Watermelon Mist. 
that one is phenomenal very lightweight you just shake it and it's really great Tatcha luminous dewy skin mist this one feels almost like a serum but it's still um mist i do like this one a lot i actually sprayed it today you can see all the amazing glow you can use it as your toner you can spray it on top of your makeup it's really amazing and next step would be your serum again hydrating serums containing hyaluronic acid panthenol or like peptide collagen so all of those are great i have this one by volition i used this before i really love it this an empty one that i have but i keep i kept it just so i can show in my videos this one was one of my favorite hydrating serums um right now trying the codely sample venus source also seems to be working really well so i love that one uh, and obviously um, you in winter you have to moisturize if right now you sometimes keep your moisturizer if you have oily skin i recommend always moisturizing in winter uh, so i have three options um, because some people like thinner textures some people like thicker textures so from thinnest to thickest i do love proteiny polypeptide cream this one again it's on the thinner side but it still has a lot of lipids to repair your skin barrier um this one i've been using all winter and again i also have posts about it this is tata harper uh, this one is a little bit thicker than drunk elephant but still not too thick because what i find when i use moisturizer that's too thick um, my pores do get a little bit more clogged um, so that just doesn't work for me and certain thick moisturizers can make me break out and next one is milk one that one is phenomenal and it's not like overly expensive like some other brands it's like right in the middle i think it's 38 dollars. so this one is amazing it's richer um it's really really nice um, if you have dry skin definitely would recommend uh, another thing you will notice in winter is that your skin's gonna be um, looking a little dull and our first kind of like thing that we do uh, when our skin gets dry is that we start uh, when our skin gets dull is we start exfoliating we start adding vitamin c or anything that says glow so first and foremost when your skin is dull i want you again to rehydrate uh, give yourself at least a week or two to really work on hydration and strengthening your skin and i would actually in winter cut down on your active ingredients like retinol or vitamin c uh, because in winter your skin uh, might not be able to handle the same strength on retinol so if you're using retinol again if you need to if your skin is fine you don't need to cut down but if you feel like your skin is drier cut down on your retinol or get the one that has different delivery system like if right now you're using retinol in a serum you can try retinol in a cream and again i love this one by murad retinol cream that one is really amazing um and i'm gonna give you some recommendations of really gentle exfoliants uh this one by uh, wishful it's huda's brand so this one is a gommage exfoliant it balls up on your skin so it looks really amazing i mean it feels really amazing once you exfoliate and it can be used for the most sensitive skin i love this one this one by peter thomas roth peptide 21 exfoliating pads uh, this is amazing i feel like it's very underrated I don't see a lot of influencers talking about it. I don't see it on TikTok. I feel like the products that get popular on TikTok is actually the almost never good products that I would recommend. So this one, again, it's not on TikTok or I don't see a lot of influencers mentioning it, but I would definitely recommend trying that one. If you like more of a daily exfoliant, uh, pharmacy, honeymoon glow has a very creamy consistency it has ages in it so that will exfoliate your skin safely and final final tip for the winter routine is you still need to use your sunscreen and especially in winter when we have snow that will reflect uh, the uv rays and then you get an even more sun exposure 
uh, than you would in summer because it reflects of the snow. But even when it's cloudy, you know, you're still getting UVA, UVB radiation. So use sunscreen. Um, I do right now use Dr. Jert mineral sunscreen. Uh, sometimes it's hard to get it sold, uh, sold out a lot of the times, but I was able, I was waiting a year to try it and then I tried it. I really, really like it. And before that, I was using Dr. Jart. Um, this is their chemical sunscreen. So that one is nice. Another brand I like is Supergoop. Uh, there's a new one by Dr. Dennis Gross, but the one I'm doing right now is uh, SPF 15. So I really like that. Um, it still feels pretty lightweight and you know it doesn't make me break out i hope these tips were helpful and i mentioned it in my last live but right now i'm working on my master class and okay i'm gonna share the topic of the master class with you uh in my master class i'm gonna i'm going to be talking about show stopping skin that turns heads whenever you go and makes people wonder if you had any work done so if you want to learn about that and get the first access and get notified when the master class is out. All you have to do is DM me word skincare. So I keep on changing the word, but you can DM master class or you can DM word skincare. Uh, thanks so much for hanging out with me today. I had so much fun doing this live with you today. Enjoy your day and have a skintastic skin. Bye bye.